Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Ebony coming in to drop off another quick word. Uh, but before we begin, I just want to say the enemy has been trying really hard to keep me from getting this word out to you all. So I know it must be very important. So I just come against any spirits of hindrance, any spirits of delay, um, any any warlock spirits, any witch spirits, any any spirits opposing our Heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, Father, I ask that you cover myself as well as this channel, as well as any and everyone under the sound of my voice with the blood of Christ, Father. Um, I ask that you, well, I come against any monitoring spirits. I come against anything opposing you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that it be your words and your truth that flow through my lips unto the ears and the hearts of your children, Father. It, let it be your words, your truth, your heart that they hear and, and that blesses them and, and delivers to them everything that they need right now in, the, in this moment. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Whew, okay. Yeah, the devil is a lie. This word will get out. Um, this word is regarding the the transition of the prodigal right now many of the prodigals are in a transitional phase in their life um, many of them are transitioning from the old to the new they're in the midst of learning how to release the old in order to embrace the new and if any of you have gone through that, which I'm sure that you have at some point in time in your life or your journey, then you know that that could be very difficult. Uh, sometimes it may be as if you are experiencing a battle within, a battle within your mind. Um, you're going back and forth. You know that you want to accept and embrace the new. You want these new things. You want to do better. You want this new life. Um, you can envision this life that you want to create for yourself, you and your spouse, but at the same time, you struggle. You may be struggling with how to let go of the old ways of being and doing things, your old nature, um, dying to your flesh, and so on and so forth. So right now, this is for anyone who is standing for a prodigal, anyone who is standing in that gap for a prodigal, anyone who's waiting on a prodigal to return. The Lord wants you to know that right now in this hour, the best thing you can do for your prodigal is intercede on their behalf. Continue to stand for them. Continue to have faith in the Lord. Continue to lift them up in prayer. Continue to encourage them. Cut them a little slack. Even the prodigals that have returned, you may notice that there may be little signs that they still may be struggling with things of the past or the enemy may try and play on you as far as what you see with the physical eye and make you think or lead you to believe that they have not changed. They have changed. They are changing. So this is a time for you to walk by faith and not by sight. Um, you know, just believe, continue to pray for them, continue to stand for them, cut them a little slack, continue to lift them up in prayer, um, because it will be well worth it in the end. So right now they're trying to just grasp that new, they're trying to take hold of it and actually in the midst of the process of those changes sticking they are releasing the old. They're shedding different aspects of their lives. And this is not easy on a person. Sometimes it can make you feel like you don't know whether you're going or coming. You don't know which way to turn. You don't know which way to go. And the last thing you want is anyone who's constantly on you or doubting you or discouraging you or um, fighting or to be battling or arguing or having misunderstandings with another person that can hinder you even more. So just be there for your prodigal, encourage them, lift them up in prayer, continue to have faith, keep your eyes on the Lord. And uh, I just want to say God bless you all. I wish you all the best and I hope you all have a great evening. Love you. See you later. Talk to you soon.